booze, politics, and the Spectrum Center. It is all part of a fiery new lawsuit filed by a former worker who says he was fired from his job at the Uptown Entertainment Complex. Fox 46 Chief Legal Correspondent Seema Iyer live at the Spectrum Center tonight with a copy of the federal lawsuit. Seema, you spoke with that former Spectrum Center employee. What is he saying? Brian, when I sat down and talked to Tim Tarleton today, you could tell he was absolutely devastated. And frankly, he was embarrassed. He worked here for four years. And you'll be able to see that it was hard for him to speak out. But he felt that it was time to finally speak up. Take a look. He was warned what not to wear. You have been reported to have Trump shirts on during a Zoom call. Well, anyone who's been to those countries and what not to watch. I was also warned that it probably wouldn't be a good idea for me to watch Fox News in my office. So it's not surprising Tim Tarleton worried about keeping his job as an engineering manager at the Spectrum Center. You have to watch what you say because there's so many people that are liberals that, you know, and there seems to be one set of rules to play by. Right here, this is called. Tim says he kept his beliefs to himself and his head down. Yet despite never having problems with job performance. I had always got raises and done good with, through the performance evaluations that they give yearly. He was fired. And for Tim, without any reason. But technically, I broke no rule, but I was told that I was fired for breaking a rule that is actually permitted in their handbook. Tim says he was fired for drinking a beer on a Zoom call from home on his day off. He says many people at work drank on the job, including his boss. My direct report kept a bottle of Crown Royal and a uh, beer in his office. Tim says he once had a drink at work when his boss offered it. Lamello. Now, almost a year later, Tim still can't find a job and is still shook over being fired. The biggest thing was having to tell my grandson because he used to come to some of the games and I, even before my dad died this year, I would get him there because he's partially handicapped. It was, it was rough, you know, because everybody was kind of disappointed. And it's embarrassing to tell your family this. So why is Tim now going public with this? People have to stand up for the rights. I mean, it, it, it's embarrassing, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to sit down and take this when I know what really happened here. So just to clarify for our viewers, the defendant in this lawsuit is the Charlotte Regional Visitors Authority, which manages the Spectrum Center for the city of Charlotte. And lawyers for the CRVA did give us a statement. CRVA is not able to comment on ongoing litigation to allow the legal process to move forward unimpeded. They are going to refrain from publicly responding to any of the claims contained in the lawsuit. Brian? Yeah, and Seema, you can, you, obviously it was tough for him to come out. What's the legal status of this case right now. Okay, so the lawsuit was just filed, so there still has to be time for the defense to reply. So we won't be going to court anytime soon. But Tim Tarleton is asking for damages in excess of $25,000. Now, I want everyone to keep in mind that he has not been able to find work since he was fired in August of 2020 in the middle of a global pandemic. Seema Iyer at the Spectrum Center. Guys, back to you. All right. A story we'll certainly keep following. Seema, thanks.